Uh-huh. And I'm saying, you know, you, you know, you, you know, and I hate to say this, but I don't want really to use the word hate. I, I read it. Oh, I guess I just got to say it. You know, I've traveled this. I've, I've traveled America, and I've been and, and, and I've been in some wealthy areas. And, 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 and in fact, I was shaking hands yesterday with a multimillionaire uh, for briefly. I was trying to ask the Lord to give me a word uh, that I can <laughs> speak in His spirit. <laughs> and I was trying to see that they have a church home because you know, God wanted everybody in church with money. <laughs> Y'all look y'all laughing, but I'm serious. That man came outside. I'm like, oh, so you're the one that got bless you, sir. How you doing? I'm my name is Mr. Collins, you know. You know my whole voice told say everything. <laughs> <laughs> Money make you act right, talk right. I mean <laughs> uh, But I, I, I blessed God. I shook hands with that man and, and I was really I prayed I really prayed for him, y'all. Seriously, I prayed for him and I asked God to really uh, direct his heart and, and they don't go to church. So I'm asking God to really just, you know, send them somewhere that they can be fed properly. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to veer off too far from a text. But 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 in what we wear, uh, uh what we wear, it carries is attached rather to a spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The garments we put on are attached to a spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spirits are like coals, they're like germs. They smear, the natural eye can't see them unless you got a powerful microscope. But they smear, anytime if somebody wants to cough right now in this room and then cover their mouth, those germs will spread. Uh -huh. And we have individuals such as uh, Jay-Z and, 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 and T.I. And, and Sean uh, Puffy Cole. And Snoop Dogg and, and different uh, rock and roll Kiss 187, Blink 182, and all these rock bands and different ones that has clothing lines out. And what happens is now uh, we put our children in these clothes and don't want to, and we can't monitor why their behavior is the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, I, I, I've never seen anybody sagging and some gold blast jogging pants. You know, I just, I'm just gonna put it out there and tell the truth. You know, back when gold blast was out back in the city, y'all looking funny. Y'all never tried that gold blast. Okay, yeah. well, we used to go to gold blast. It was a store in the village called gold blast where the Dollar Tree is right now and, and you know they had clothes in there and when my generation we we didn't, we didn't have our jogging pants hanging all the way down here well what is the spirit that is attached to what you're putting on your body that's causing you to wear it and look uncouth mm -hmm. Amen. And, uh, because the individuals that advertise their garments this is how they're telling you or instructing you to wear them mm -hmm. And I'm seeing young men. I'm seeing young men on a daily, and, and it's rather, it's rather just embarrassing. It's rather just nerve-wracking, upsetting. Because I don't want to ride down the street and see your butt. Amen. And, and, and I hope this will be on I don't want to ride down the street and see your drawers. That, and you know, and, and, and young black men. I mean, young nice-looking black men. They can be anything they want to be in this world. And and and, and the new thing, and you, you just put your pants. To draw a show and take your shirt off and, and walk like you know, God, it would really irritate me in my mind. I have to keep walking all day and doing this every five seconds. You know, I guess you know that, that would really just bother me. I don't know about y'all, but I couldn't, I couldn't function all day just holding my pants. You know, I ran the streets, but dog, you know, and when I, I couldn't sag because I, I had too many guns on me and too much dope. I don't know what these young folk today. I don't know. A different breed, different breed. You know, when, when I was in the street, I, that, that's really something I couldn't get with. Because you never know when the police go hit the block. Amen. <laughs> and statistics shows that 80% that, that of the young men now that are caught in drive-by shootings, their pants are 5 to 10 inches below their waist. Because you can't run with your garments hanging all the way. And why you put on a belt? I don't know. I need to ask somebody. Why do you wear a belt and still hold the belt and walk like that? I, that would just really be irritating all that. I couldn't do it. Yeah. That's so true. That's right. What a belt for? Young man came in the job the other day, last night, had on suspenders, a belt, and was still sagging. I said, I don't you got to help on your waist and won't use it. <sighs> I, just like some folk have Bibles on their table, 
on the coffee table and won't read it. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, just a Sunday, you know, it's just suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, just walking, and it got suspenders and a belt, and you're still sagging. Uh, what are you doing that? <laughs> the, the garment, the garment, the garment, the garment is attached to some kind of demonic spirit. Because every time you cut on the video, you see you see 35-year-old, 40-year-old men posing to be 22, and they're really fictional thugs. Uh, ain't nobody gonna say that now. Because you ain't still killing nobody. You ain't rapping. You ain't cutting nobody. You ain't sold a brick or nothing. You ain't kicking nobody's door. You ain't be, you sitting there hot behind a studio, a glass window, uh, 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 with, with, with Massa and the Jews on the fifth floor looking down, and they, they got a demand on what you record and what you sell. And you got to look this way in order to get this contract signed. You got to put on this kind of front and be this individual who you're not, who God did not create you to be. And, and what pants were not designed to do. You got to be all that in order to get this. Uh -huh. You got to compromise who you are. Because really, me, 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 per me, per me personally, if I know that, that actually sagging didn't just start in prison, see, a lot of folks, it started back in slavery. And when some slaves would act out of character, or when some slaves would be rebellious, rather, uh, uh, the, the master would get on a horse, and he'll tie the slave hands together, and he'll ride the horse around the plantation, and the slave would have to follow him and try to hold his pants up, because they didn't have belts, they had ropes. So when his pants were falling, he trying to hold it, making you look like a fool, or running you around the plantation, showing your butt. Even in the Bible, the prophet Ezekiel had to walk around with his butt out, and show him that this is how the, this is how the nation of Israel is looking now. This is what God is saying about the nation of Israel. You're showing your tail off. And now this is what America is showing on TV that is popular to do. When you put your garments on, show your tail off. Show your butt. Show how you act. Come on, come on. Mm. Don't understand it. Don't understand it. it, it it's something in the garment. It, it's a demonic a spirit attached to the garment that causes the young men and even the young women I'm seeing now. Yeah. I was in peace with, her, with a pastor friend of mine uh, two, about, for about a month ago almost. And young girl held a hawk the time, and she held a pair of jogging pants with some with some with some basketball shorts and and sagging. And I sat to her because you know her mother was sitting there, and her mother was you know she's going to uh, menopause, and then I guess she was a cougar. Uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, when you reach a certain age, it's just some stuff you can't put on. You know, you, and, you know when you're grown and got kids in and, 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 and high school, you shouldn't be still trying to put on biking shorts and, and wear and skinny shirts. And, you know, you got cellulite and light and all kind of stuff. And you know, I, I don't know what what sexy is no more. I, I you know, I just I, I'm really confused. I just went to the store, I had to get some more batteries and. And, 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 and you know when you're in the urban area because 90% of the young, black, beautiful women come outside with their, with their hair tied up and, and pajamas on and, and with coal in their mouth and walking in the store like, huh? <laughs> and you wonder why you're single. You know, you know, because no respectable man wants anybody that come. You know, you looking at me and you can wink and blink all you want to and twitch and switch. I ain't talking to nothing with no scarf on his head. When you pretend you ain't washed your butt. Okay, let me get back on my sermon. I'm veering off, but I got too far gone. Yeah, but what, what, what is it? What is it? What, what demonic demon is attached to the region? Because you do understand that in each region, region there is a principality that hovers over the region. There is a, there is a general, there is a demon that oversees this region right here. And the region, uh, it oversees the spirit of religion in this region. And it oversees the spirit of poverty in this region. It oversees the lack of education in this region. It's the reason why they're closing down schools when they got money to open up liquor stores. Come out, come out. Okay, I, 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 right. tell me now. It's the reason why they're doing certain things that, that that's putting the people in a less position to be. Uh, uh, um, we don't have a voice now. And it's like we'll give you this to tease you. We'll give you this to pe to appease your flesh. But we don't want you to begin to speak out and know who you are. Where is the Martin Luther King days? Where is the Malcolm X? Where is the Elijah days when the men will wear suits seven days a week? I think, and I think, I think, Brother John, and maybe this is just me, but I think when they created gym shoes, then the world kind of went just went south for the women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well. When gym shoes came on the scene, 
then things just really took a turn. I think crime kind of got high. Mm -hmm. Because who's really kind of robbed a bank? <laughs> and so Stacy Adams, you know, when, when they put rubber soles on, you know, and you know, you know, things kind of shift. When, when the garments shift, things in the world, you think about it, shift. Not because the world repeats itself. Now we're going back into the 80s. Now, man, it's the repeat of the 80s. They wear the, the, the slope fades, the young guys, and they, they dye their hair, and they wear the ice wash jeans and with the big holes and the, and, and the big tongue on their shoe. And because the garment is a shift change in the garment, so there's actually a shift change in the spirit realm. Because when the garments change, the spirits change. People dress according to how they feel. And, I, and as I told you some time ago, that I can't put on certain clothes. I can't put on rock and wear. And I can't put on uh, 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 all these other name brand that these rappers wear. Because it, it's something that gets a hold of me. And, 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 and I don't know, something my, my swagger picks up and it ain't for Jesus. You, you know, you, hey, if I can put it that way. See, y'all gonna look funny now. I, I gotta be mindful of what I put on my body. Because something that you can attach yourself to can actually have you walking away that you don't walk when you got on those pillows and a polo shirt, you know, you just... <laughs> Hi, <laughs> the Bible said this man of God was working and Elijah threw his garment over his head and he said I want to follow you he said but let me go back and kiss my mother and kiss my father and, and to make sure that he was not going to return because he was all the way gone he full time he killed his oxen now here in the scripture, oxen is, is interpreted burden. <laughs> Come on now. He went back and killed his burden just to follow the man of God so he can serve the Lord with gladness. And there's some folk that, that, that you, 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 you've been following behind a burden for so many years. You walking around following, you pushing this burden, you're burping the burden, you're rocking the burden, you're carrying the burden. You're afraid to put that thing down because you're afraid of what you can't live without it. Come on now. Some folk got it in their mind, they can't live without pain. Some folk got it in their mind, they can't live, they can't live without misery. Misery loves company. Some folk got it in their mind, they can't live without heartache. You ever been around somebody, but every time something's going good, they reminisce on how bad it used to be until it starts going bad. Oh, okay. Come on now. You know, you sit around and just talk about everything that went wrong last week. You know, child, they shot that pookie now. I mean, Ray Ray ran down and got hit by the car, June Bulls, fell out the tree. And, you know, because everything is calm now. And then as soon as it starts going bad again, you just, you enjoy it. Now, some folk can't live without chaotic situations. Some people need to be in a mess in order to function. That's true. That's true. They're functioning addicts. He's, he's pushing this burden. He's pushing these burdens. Man of God comes by, lays the anointing on him. He goes back and kills the burden and give it back to the people which it came from. My God. Come on. Man. See, see, see. I, I found out, I found out, I found out, Sister Joyce, that you cannot, you cannot offend me. I have to take offense. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. See y'all didn't catch it. I, I used to be slow too. I used to ride in your little bus. You, you, you cannot offend me. I have to take offense. That means if you come up to me and say, well, Pastor, I don't like your suit. I don't think that tie matches with that shirt. And it's up to me to take offense, really. But if I haven't give you, uh, if I haven't given you uh, some kind of authority in my life, really, your words would just fall to the ground. But really, how close we are, it depends on how close you are to me, uh, really, to determine how I take what you said. Amen. That's it. That's, That's it by the Bible said, he cut up the burdens, he cut up the oxen, and he served the people and fed them. He began to follow the man of God. He began to follow the anointing. Because mm -hmm. notice, when he walked past him, he didn't give him his name first. He didn't introduce himself. He didn't, he didn't pull out a business card. He didn't go, I'm Bishop, Dr. Elder Apostle. 
<laughs> you know, folk got 45 titles. I don't know what to call. I don't know what what to call so many folk nowadays. You know, yeah, yeah, everybody's an apostle now. It was a season where the prophets were just popping up out of no. Everybody was a prophet. I mean, everywhere you turn, a prophet, a prophetess. Hi, I'm prophetess. Hi, I'm prophetess. And now everybody's an apostle. You got more apostles popping up out of the woodworks, and nobody has suffered. Nobody's seen Christ. Ain't nobody laid before him. Everybody wants the office. <laughs> he didn't give this man a business card. He didn't introduce himself. He just laid the anointing on him. Uh -huh. And the anointing will attract the individuals you need to hang with you in the seasons you need them to be with you. I found out that the anointing will attract. Tell somebody, my anointing will attract. My anointing. You, you, I, I was talking with a woman yesterday uh, about 82 years old and I went in the room to meet her because she had been wanting to meet me. And she said, man of God, she said, you're standing here. She said, I can feel, she said, I can feel the joy. She said, I can feel the vibes of God coming off your body because she got sugar. She suffered from sugar so she can't really see real well. She said, I really can't see you too good. She said, well, I can feel the power of God coming off your body just by you standing here. She started getting, I mean, got off that bed and turned and put her feet on the floor and said, I 